Welcome to the Our Barn Community Podcast. Well, good to go here, Oscar. Our second guest. Um, hi. hi. Hi, Oscar. Yeah. How are you today? Uh, thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming to the podcast, um, to the Our Barn Podcast number two. Um, this is um, this is Oscar. Tell us about yourself. I'm Oscar. I'm 28. Um, I was. I was one of the first people to um, go to the Albarn course, community course, which is a very, very good thing because it teaches you how to work as a team and build your confidence and stuff. So, yeah, I loved it, really. Oscar, it's wonderful to have you here on the, on the podcast. It's been, a, it's been a long time since we've seen you in person. It feels like forever. Yeah, I know. It's just lucked out. <laughs> Lockdown, the words, <laughs> the words that everybody's uttering. Um, yeah, so um, it'd be really good to know how um, how you've been getting on. I, I, I know you've been probably watching the news like everybody else. Yeah, I've been trying to keep myself to myself and try to sort out certain things and revalue certain things and, yeah work on my music, make my own clothing brands and stuff like that. So that's what I've been focusing on lockdown. So. You have been a very active person under lockdown. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, that's, uh, that's really positive to hear, Oscar. Um, we won't get too bogged down by the news, but what kind of news have you been listening to? Uh, I've been just listening to the daily on broadcast and how they're trying to find injections and they're trying to find um medicines and stuff like that to try to um get rid of the um lockdown and I personally think that things are gonna change, meaning people are more self aware and they're gonna that yeah, it's not gonna be the same as it was before the lockdown. Yeah, things things are changing quite fast in the world, Oscar. Yeah, very, very fast. But I think we're learning fast, is that fair to say? Yeah, we're learning and it's a good thing. Um, this lockdown is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because it makes people aware of the environment and that something needs to be done with global warming and pollution and stuff like that and people are more together and more want to see each other face to face, not with like always on their phone or with on the laptop or the iPad or like technology was taking over. So mm -hmm. it's a good thing. It's a bad thing because you have to, every time you watch the news, you have to hear how many people die. And I'm mm -hmm. sure no one wants to hear about people dying like, or when they, so it's real. And that's the fact, like not everyone, like not every day you want to hear about the amount of people that's dying because it's really, really like you think about the families as well and how many people are losing each other. Yeah, yeah, it's going to affect every community. Yeah, so that's why it's a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. I totally understand that. Totally understand that. Um, Oscar, having, having you on the show, I think it's going to give us a real good um, chance to talk, you know, all things mental health and um but you know it's, it's a topic that's close to your heart um yeah. how have you been you know how have you been dealing with it is it is it something that comes naturally to you do you you know adapt to your new situation quite easily or is it a challenge it's a really really big struggle i'm not gonna lie i've been really i've had those times i've been really depressed because i'm used to going out doing stuff and to be locked in a room and not, not having much people to talk to and stuff like that is really depressing. Mm -hmm. And have you, have you got any top tips for people who might be in the same situation, Oscar? Yeah, just have faith. Keep your head up because it's not going to be like that forever. But at the meantime, you just have to just be, be calm, really. Yeah. I think we've all got a shared goal, haven't we? We all want to get through this together. Yeah, and that's a good thing about human race, that when it comes down to the nitty-gritty stuff, we 
we stand up for each other and always help each other and stuff like that. And that's the good thing about being human and being alive and stuff. Yeah, I totally got that, man. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, reaching out for help and stuff, Oscar, are there, are there places that you would naturally go to if, you know, things get a bit too tough? If things get too tough, like 111, NHS 111, mm-hmm. is it good help? Because when you call them, and if you fit, let's say you're feeling depressed or suicidal or something, they can assemble you to the right person and you can talk to them and they can calm you down and like they'll work with you from there to try to make things easy and calm. And I know now it's like people think, okay, it's the NHS, like the NHS are focused on people with corona and stuff like that, but they're to help you as well. Mm-hmm. And don't be, don't be scared to ask for help. Absolutely. Help and, helping and supporting each other. Um, you know, we, we've got people who are trained, who are wonderful, who are just magical at their jobs. We should call those people, right? Yeah. But they're there to help you. 100%. And every Thursday night we go out, and I definitely go out every Thursday night on my balcony, and I clap loud and proud to know that people are there to help us every step of the way, man. Yeah. The only thing I'm going to say is don't be scared to ask for help. And don't be scared to ask for help. That's a great piece of advice from anybody. Thank, thanks for that, Oscar. Um, Oscar, you have been uh, catching up on all things history, I believe. You're a history man. Yeah, I'm really, really into my history because I believe that things have got a way of, let's say that something happens in the past, it's got a way of resurfacing, but a different way, but it's still the same, like, for example, I've been watching a show that I didn't even know, after the Second World War, there was a virus that the uh, soldiers caught, and, um, they brought it back to this country and people were catching it and like they had locked they had to lock down for a bit and try to get rid of the virus and stuff like that and that speaks now because of the corona as well because it's like the same thing mm-hmm. and i just like watching things from the past because it teaches you and i personally find it very interesting and very educational cool in terms of um you know, you, you, you've mentioned uh, doing things that might help your your mental health, um, Oscar. Uh, you were talking top tips for, for, the, for our community. Is there anything that you think, hmm, this would really help people out there? So, you know, I mentioned you chatting about, you know, getting physically active and stuff before we were, before we were on air. Yeah, the top tips is um, you have to occupy your mind. So... You, even if you go out for a little bit, have a walk, you're getting your exercise. You go for a run, you're getting your exercise. You're riding a bike, you're getting your exercise. And some, and there's things you can do inside as well. Like, for example, if you've been very depressed, I I find it better. And I, I love music and I love listening to music because music, I feel it changes the mood. Mm-hmm. So if you're feeling low and you listen to music, I listen to the words of the song and for somehow, for some reason, it lifts my spirits up. So music is the best, it's one of things to do if you can't go outside or you haven't got a bad garden or you're scared to go outside and stuff like that because things are difficult. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like music um, is like a gift to others. You know, like if you have a song that's really near and dear to your heart and it's something that resonates with you and, and, and hits you, you know, hits you strong with, with you know, maybe, maybe sometimes it's a wave of emotion, sometimes it's the lyrics, sometimes it's the beat. Um, you know, it, it's like if you share that song or that, that piece of music with somebody, it's, that's helping to connect with people. That's help, helping to kind of share maybe feelings through songs and music, which do create positive feelings. Yeah, it's music speaks and it speaks to me. So if you feel low, just try to listen to music. Just try it. Yeah. 
I'm going to test you on music later on, Oscar. So hope you're uh, hope you've been listening to some Prince, some Stevie, see, yeah, some Stevie Wonder, some Lady Leisha. Uh, I'm going to test you on some lyrics. I can't wait because it will test my knowledge. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. That would be brilliant. Um, any any uh, any good news, Oscar? Anything on on you know? You've been watching the news. You've been catching up on the news. Anything fun out there? Anything happening? Anybody doing anything extraordinary? The good news is people helping each other. But that's a really, really good thing to see because we're so used to thinking about ourselves and not think about others. But now we can think about, like, now we're helping each other. Like, let's say if my neighbor can't go somewhere, you like you can eat like just knock on the door and the clapping is really really helpful and the clapping is really good because i've heard stories that someone's been lived like people like for example someone lives you could be living in an area and don't know who your neighbors are but you're so busy getting on with your own life but now I see loads of people coming out, standing together, clapping, talking to each other, getting to know each other, and yeah, like you can go through your whole life living somewhere without knowing your neighbour, which is very, very sad to see, mm-hmm. but now things are changing. Like, things are definitely changing. Times are changing. I think that's a lyric from uh, Bob Dylan. So I'm going to lead this musical theme um, on to, uh, well, let's go with a musical challenge. So my first artist that I'm going to test you on is an artist that's near and dear to my heart uh, and brings a smile to my face, can also bring a a tear to my eye, um, Oscar, just as easily, Um, and it's the artist Prince. Um, So Prince is no longer on the planet with us. However, he left behind some beautiful music. Um, I'm going to test you on a lyric. See if you can fill in the missing lyric. Okay? So it goes a bit like this. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're offended by my singing. All right, but here goes. Uh, This one goes a bit like this. Starfish and coffee, maple syrup and... Ah, so you might not know it, but you're going to guess anyway. So I'll give you another. I'll give you another go at it. Starfish and coffee, maple syrup, and something—something oh. something you'd have on your breakfast, possibly. Toast. Toast. Okay, so good guess. So it goes like this: starfish and coffee, maple syrup and jam, butterscotch clouds, tangerine. So I order of ham. So it's jam. <laughs> okay, at least it's got a smile in there. Uh, uh, Prince has put a smile on my face. Okay, next next artist. We've got uh, the legend. Uh, we went for legends. Um, Stevie Wonder. Okay. Okay, uh, the song uh, is a famous song. Um, it's, I'm not going to tell you the name of the song, but I'm just going to sing it. Okay. Live in just enough for the fill in the gap what's the missing lyric living just enough just enough for the Mm. can our listeners fill in the gap i'm pretty sure one or two are shouting at their at their computer or their phone i don't know Uh... living just enough for the moment City. <laughs> it's city. That's, oh. that's all right. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to give you a UK. Um, I think she may be an R&B artist. Lady Leisha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm sadly not going to wrap this one. Because uh, <laughs> don't know this one very well. Um, so I'm going to tell you the lyrics and you're going to fill the gap. Okay, where are you now? Because anytime I speak, that's news. See you on the six o'clock gap. Where are you now? Where, where are you now? Yeah, um, 
Because anytime I speak, that's news. See you on the six o'clock. Uh, mm, mm. You've been watching lots of it lately, Oscar. <laughs> Where are you now? I can't see you. Where are you now? Where are you now? Where are you now? I'm glad you got a better singing voice than me, Oscar. <laughs> uh, See you on the six o'clock. News. News. Perfect. I like it. Fantastic. I love it. Um, so that was our music round. And uh, it's, good to, it's good to laugh. It's good to smile. It's good to share. Uh, it's good to connect. It's good to give. It's good to learn. You're learning some new new skills on on, on, uh, on the old lockdown situation, um, Oscar. You've been designing T-shirts and stuff. Yeah, I've got I designed the hoodie, which I'm hoping to bring out after like when lockdown is over. So describe, you know, um, paint as a picture. It's just basically my own brand that I just made up called Urban Space. And I just wanted to do, because I, I wanted to do something while I was on lockdown. And mm -hmm. I've, been, I've wanted to do it for a very long time, but I had not had the time to do it due to different commitments and stuff. Mm -hmm. So when I went on lockdown, I just thought, you know what? I've been wanting to do this for a long time. This is the perfect time to do it. So hopefully you people buy it and the money will go to charity. No, that's that's really that's really 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 kind of you, man. Hey, it's good to help. Helping is a good thing. You said it. You said it. Uh, looking forward to seeing a fresh thread, uh, lovely hoodie, uh, creative logo. I'm sure it's got it all. Yeah, I've had good comments at the moment. <laughs> cool. Ah, I like it. Okay, looking forward to seeing uh, some, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first one to buy one. How about that? Thank you. And the, okay. money, will go to, the money will go to Mental Health NHS. That's, that's very humble of you. Um, so we will, if you've been affected by any of the topics um, mentioned here today, and um, we're going to put some links at the bottom of the page. Um, we are so proud of everything you're doing oscar well, thank you very much it's been a real pleasure it's yeah it's been an absolute pleasure catching up with you i know it's been a while but you know sometimes um it just takes time to reconnect yeah so uh is there anything else you'd want to cover um oscar just keep yourself healthy keep yourself occupied and it should be over soon thank you Thank you. Uh, that's, that's Oscar, um, one of our wonderful Our Futures members uh, who's out there doing wonderful stuff for his community. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you in person really soon, Oscar. Take care of yourself. Take care. Bye.